Howdy and welcome to the Cape. It's great to have you back. I'm Mark and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Okay, I'm back. Time for some more work. Now I went ahead and sealed it. I used a uh, Minwax semi-gloss on it. I am going to do another black wash on it just to dull it down a little bit. But today what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to put a little bit of gravel, a few stones, some sand, some debris down in the bottom here. And how I'm going to do that is probably some super glue from Gorilla and some tacky glue from the dollar store. I'm going to be using dirt that I sifted just from the yard. I've got various grades of it, a little thicker. And on this one, I don't think it'll be going any bigger than this stuff here. And I said all I did was go out to the yard, shovel up some dirt, sifted it through some screens from the dollar store, and uh, separated it into different sizes. First things first, I'm going to start with the bigger ones and then the smaller stuff can fall in between. And there we go. This is what we've got. Now I still got to do all the flocking and stuff. That'll be done after the resin's done. So now what I'm going to do is uh, prep the back here in the front. I got to make a dam. So give me a few minutes. I'll get right to it. Hey, now that I've let that dry a bit, I mean, some of it's still a little wet, but we're okay. So the next thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to put a little bit of plant life in here before I do my resin. Now, I go out and I find plants with a very tiny uh, plant root structure, like the very tiny root structure. I don't remember where that one come from. Then I found some of these, just some sort of little weed grows in the rocks a nice little swamp weed or something who knows and then of course if you want um i don't remember i think these are spruce spruce needles i think are the long ones it's either spruce or pine not sure don't remember now i've also got um some homemade uh, really hard Clump, fo um, clump foliage, I guess. This here is made from, what did I use? Oh, uh, used tea bags. So used tea, open up the bags. I used uh, some glue and uh, water, paint. I think you've got two different shades here. Yeah, kind of a light yellowy brown and a green. So I'm going to use those, and I've got some light clump foliage foam uh, from Amazon. Now to glue all that stuff down, just my tacky glue, and then for some of the foliage, once it glues on, uh, I can wet it down with some alcohol. This one here is 75% alcohol, and it acts like a flow aid. 
And this here is just a 50-50 mix of water and white glue. Uh, I need a pair of scissors. Now I'm going to cut off a few of these and then glue them up top. Okay, so first we're just going to have a piece of root. I'm just going to stick it down in here. I'm just going to stick a few of these in here somewhere and all this will be held down by the uh, resin anyways. I just want to make sure it doesn't float up or anywhere. So I'm going to finish this up and I'll come back and show you. All right, now that I've got a bunch of my roots on, some swamp weed, whatever you want to call it, down here, up there, what I'm going to do next is take some of this uh, sponge foliage, clump foliage, whatever you want to call it. I get this stuff from Amazon. So I'm just going to put in uh, some foliage here moss There we go. So, stuff on top is still loose, and stuff on the bottom has got glue. So, a little bit of alcohol. And do all my rocks too at the same time. My 50-50 mix, water and glue. Just to just make sure everything's all locked in nice and tight. See how the uh, glue sits on top of the bead? You can see it right there, it's just sitting on top. So you can give it a drop, of, a drop or two of alcohol. Now it won't sit on top. So it acts like so I'm gonna get the rest of this done. I'll be back uh, in a few minutes. Hey, 
Okay, so I'm ready to uh, glue some plastic on here. Seal it up and get it ready to pour the resin. So all I'm gonna do, take some white glue And I'm going to take some extra. Just run a bead of it here. Just to make sure that it don't leak out. So now I'm going to do the same thing. The top one. And then I'm going to let those dry. So I'm going to put this one up here. And once those are dry. Then I'll be getting into the silicone to make a dam here and make my waterfall. And once I have those ready, then I'm going to uh, start mixing up resin. So hopefully you stay tuned for that. Should be a good time. First time ever doing it. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you can get notified for when I do the next video pouring the resin. So until then, guys, later.